Communicating ideas clearly and presenting them openly in front of a set of audience is an essential component of success across various domains in life. My name is Lee Yong Yong and I am from Polytechnic Sultan Salahuddin Abdul Aziz Shah. Today, I will be covering these few areas in my presentation. And let us begin. I asked my student at the very first of their classes this semester, are you afraid of public speaking and why? And these were the responses that I managed to obtain. So we can see that generally my students were terrified of public speaking and among the cited reasons were they don't do public speaking, they were worried, they're not confident, there's something wrong with their language and whenever they're on stage they just could not do it among few cited reasons. So the fear of public speaking is also called glossophobia and it has been known as one of the common biggest fear than that. And it affects 75% of population, according to these researchers, and it alleviates anxiety and stress. So because of this, students often resort to avoidance. In polytechnic, three out of four students are afraid of public speaking, generally because they don't know what to say and they don't know how to say it. Therefore, rhetorical analysis is proposed to guide students to understand text in context better so that they have better clarity on how speeches are constructed and better understanding on how speeches are structured. Are structured. Let's begin. What is rhetorical analysis? Rhetorical analysis requires you to apply your critical reading skills in order to break down text. In essence, you break off the parts from the whole of the piece you're analyzing with the goal to understand how author articulate whatever they write rather than what they actually wrote. So this meaning is, this definition is by University of British Columbia in 2007. And the definition is echoed in um, many studies as well. Uh, among those, William Gans in 2008 mentioned that a rhetorical analysis is an examination of how a text persuades us. And Gagik and Zeichel in 2017 mentioned that it is an art of persuasion. So for this, there are two research objectives. Number one is these studies conducted to examine the students' perspectives on the use of rhetorical analysis on President-elect Joe Biden's speech in public speaking. Number two, to examine the students' understanding on the aspects of rhetorical analysis on Joe Biden's speech in public speaking. So the research questions are, number one, what are the students' perspective on using rhetorical analysis on Joe Biden's speech in public speaking? Number two, what are the students' understanding on the aspects of rhetorical analysis on Joe Biden's speech in public speaking? So for methodology, the rhetorical analysis were taught over two online lessons and Joe Biden's first speech as president-elect was used. So students were divided into groups to analyze Joe Biden's first speech as president-elect and the aspect of rhetorical analysis taught were speech purpose, audience, author's bias, structure and organization, and also ethos, logos, and pathos. So a question that was distributed to collect students' perspectives on the rhetorical analysis, a total number of 60 students have participated, and these students come from medical, electronic, engineering, and also facility management uh, department, and they are first-year degree students of Polytechnic Sudha Salahuddin Abdul Aziz Shah. So this was the speech uh, watched and these um, were actually students work on using rhetorical analysis so in answering the research questions number one what are the students perspective on using rhetorical analysis on president elect Joe Biden's speech in public speaking so three questions were asked and we can see that 98.3 percent mentioned that uh, they believe rhetorical analysis has helped them to be a better speaker. Now, the 6.7% of them say that they believe rhetorical analysis has helped them to write and structure better speech and presentation. While 98.3% also mentioned that a rhetorical analysis done in groups helped them to understand better and also achieve more. So, in answering the second research question, what are the students' understanding on the aspects of rhetorical analysis on Joe Biden's speech in public speaking? So, Table 4.1 shows 
all the variables have high positive correlation with each other. There was a high correlation between speech purpose and audience, 0.879, speech purpose and structure and organization, 0.813, author's bias and structure and organization, 0.8, author's bias and audience, 0.828, Audience and structure and organization point eight to five. Meanwhile, author's bias and speech purpose have moderate correlation, point seven six eight. So, uh, when asked about their opinion, these were the comments given, and generally students agreed that rhetoric rhetorical analysis has helped them to really understand how a speech is constructed and structured better, and therefore uh, this shows an increase in public increase in confidence in public speaking. So discussion. Number one, students perceived rhetorical analysis favorably, whereby there is a high frequency of positive outlook and experience with rhetorical analysis in helping them to understand public speaking better. Number two, students understood that all the aspects of rhetorical analysis have high correlation, while author's bias and speech purpose have moderate correlation. And Joe Biden's first speech as president-elect was relevant and current to be used for rhetorical analysis. It was very sensational at that time. And last and second last, students understood aspects such as speech purpose, audience, author's bias and ethics, structure and organization, including ethos, logos and pathos, make up a good speech. So overall, rhetorical analysis has helped students to gain more confidence in public speaking. Next, conclusion and recommendation. Rhetorical analysis has helped students in public speaking, whereby we can see that this has been perceived very favorably among students. Number two, Joe Biden's first speech as president-elect was a good choice to be used for rhetorical analysis. And number three, students believe rhetorical analysis done in groups help them to understand and achieve more. Next, so what is the recommendation? There are two recommendations. Number one, it is recommended for rhetorical analysis to be used as a teaching and learning approach in a public speaking class. And number two, perhaps syllabus and curriculum development may now consider to integrate rhetorical analysis as the methodology to teach public speaking in polytechnic. So the limitations were a small sample of study uh, was involved hand. It is not generalized to other settings. And number two is that um, since Joe Biden's speech was used, therefore, this is actually not generalized to other forms of text and speeches. So these are the references. And that wraps up my presentation today on teaching public speaking through rhetorical analysis using President-elect Joe Biden's speech in an online classroom. Thank you.